Hey kids, come on, step into my channel. Join me in the easy do-it-yourself craft. You've seen the windmill, isn't it? Let's try it. So quick, grab in a square sheet of chart paper, a safety pin, a toothpick, a straw, glue stick and a scissor. Now first, take a square sheet of chart paper. Now you can just fold it into a triangle. Alright, open it. Again fold it into a triangle here on the other side. Now open it. Now you get the center. What we will do is first we will pierce in the safety pin at the center. And with the help of the toothpick, instead of the safety pin, you can even take a nail. Now here, I'll just pierce in this toothpick and enlarge the center, enlarge the hole a little bit. Alright. So that our toothpick easily moves around. Now, you can see the diagonals here. What we are going to do is we are going to cut this from this corner up to two thirds. What do you mean by two thirds? Now this diagonal, this part of the diagonal if you take, you divide it into three equal parts, one, two and three. So you will leave this part as it is and from this end till here you will cut. So let us slit up to two thirds. All right. Now here, this side, up to two thirds, one, two and three equal parts, one and two parts, up to that I will make a slit. Now here, and the fourth one, right, now see here, you can see this. We have kept one part as it is. Now, this right side, this is your left and this is your right. To the right side corner, you leave one finger space and here you will mark one hole. Rotate it. Here also similarly one finger space in the center leaving place on either side. Alright, you can see this here so similarly to the right side i'll leave in one finger space i'll mark it one finger space and now you can see this one two three and four all on the right side now here with the help of this safety pin i will just pierce a hole there And with the help of the toothpick, I will enlarge it a little bit. Alright. Now, I told you instead of the safety pin, you can even use a nail. But nail won't be safe. So, let us take a toothpick and enlarge the hole. We want the toothpick to move around easily inside so all the four I'm piercing the hole so here you got it all the four on the right hand see you can see this one two your three and your four now what we shall do is we will wherever the hole is there that right side we will overlap on this so here I will overlap it here Okay, 
now i can even you can even paste it a little the corner you can paste it so here it should overlap the hole right only the corner will be pasting similarly here we are pasting only the corner we just want it to hold in place all right now here also here and the fourth blade that is here all right so here you can see the blades are ready all right now we need a small disc to place at the top before that we shall just try piercing this and checking whether it is all the hole is right in its place so now as i told you we need to see that our toothpick moves around easily so i'm going to make it a little bigger all right now here i have taken one small square which i'll paste it here and i'll pierce this to the hole so here now let us take a straw and here i shall pierce this and make a hole here and similarly with the help of the toothpick i will enlarge that a little bit all right now what next i am going to pierce this toothpick through this and here see here through the sole in the straw here all right now here we'll place this here all right keep some distance between the straw and this now hold it like this against the wind see the windmill moving isn't it fun so enjoy making your windmill and do post your comment